Guess what? <laughs> it's me again. Your dystopian innkeeper. I'm playing Ashen Empires. Uh, I've been playing this game for like, yeah, over 20 years. <laughs> so it's really a, a trip down memory lane. Um, it's quite late here and I'm drinking coffee, so it looks like I'm pulling an all-nighter. <laughs> Once again. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sleep is for the week, as they say. Cheers. That's my coffee tastes better when you drink it from a Ramones cup. Well, okay, I'm already talking crap at <laughs> minute one. Uh, anyway, um, a, a trip down memory lane. Uh, Ashen Empires started as Transic Classic. Uh, pure 2D uh, graphics. And developed into Transic. Uh, isometric graphics like these and then it had different developers not, no sorry not different developers the developer team stayed more or less the same but the company changed quite often <laughs> <laughs> All Ashen Empires at Rensic players know what I mean. Why CG, for example, that was a complete mess. A complete mess. Um, TKO um, was nicknamed uh, Technical Knockout um, for a reason, I mean. <laughs> Oh, um, shoot, yeah, my timestamp that I can't pin for some reason. Oh, can I in the meantime? No. Yeah, okay, but it's there. Okay, cool. Um, Technical knockout, yeah. <laughs> um, now it's owned by Pixel Mine Games again, and still running. It's 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 great. That's the server screen of uh, the server Ascension. I'm going back. We have four servers, Ascension, Heroes, Legends, and Chaos. Chaos is an event server that's not always online. My main character is on Heroes, where there are five people online. Uh, the most populated one is the newest one called Ascension. Um, that's the one I'm playing on. It's uh, PvP with safe zones. Legends is pure PvE. I do have characters on uh, all uh, three servers, but my main server, uh, my, my main account, and my main characters are on heroes. Uh, but I, Occasionally play my main account on Legends as well. Um, but okay, I'm not giving away my my main um, game identity. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> um, okay, let's dive into the game. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. It's a bit complicated because I can't play it if 
full screen. So I have to play it in windowed mode. But I tried it before I started to st uh, the stream, so it should work. Um, yeah, and it. Yeah, perfect. 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 Almost perfect. We've got that chat screen. Hold on. We're gonna probably put it down there. I think that's yeah that's that's way cool that's way cool yeah okay that works for me uh, and we do have a problem because I can't really read <laughs> um, okay okay now I, I no, I really can't read that. I have to change. I have to change the uh, the font. Where do you do do that? Game options. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Arial is. Okay, that's that's better. Yeah, it, it it looks strange not to have the the original font, but okay, I'm I can live with that. So I chose to do mining. We have a. A power hour, or maybe. Hold on, I'm, I'm just reading the help channel. Everything's mined out here. Um, I forget what I, what I was saying. Um, yeah, I chose to be a, a, a miner first. The cool thing about Ashen Empires is that it's classless. Uh, you can be almost whatever you want to be. A sword fighter, um, axes, small blades, uh, pole arms, bows, crossbows, slings, um, barehanded even, or you can do trade skills, not or, and you can do trade skills, like mining, blacksmithing in the end, um, woodworking, uh, you can be a farmer, And the only real limit are your orbs. I hope you can see that here in that window. You have the, the classical uh, attributes, strengths, uh, dexterity, intelligence and constitution. And that's probably the only limitation. It doesn't really um, limit you or uh, hinder you from doing whatever you want, but there are attributes that help with certain skills, like strength is needed for almost every weapon. Uh, dexterity is needed for bows and crossbows and slings. Um, ba -da -ba -bum. And you need different attributes. I'm stuck. 
No, I'm not stuck. Okay. Um, and you need different attributes for different trade skills, like uh, mining is, is based on strength. Most people go actually go full strength because it also uh, it can also carry more weight and that's much needed. Oh, everything is mined out here. There must be someone else definitely there is another player who just mined out croc that's the orcish starting town oh that's that's not cool that's really not cool come on seriously i mean <laughs> there is nothing to mine here. Ah, okay. I can mine here. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm planning to open up an inn. I mean, I'm an innkeeper, so uh, in game. I mean, I'm an innkeeper, <laughs> not in re real life. No. Um, so I probably need. No, I definitely need blacksmithing and woodworking to build a house. And. Uh, yeah, decorate it as an inn and hand out keys to everyone, to every guest who wants to join. You can even brew uh, different types of beers. Yeah, I, I would have to look it up, but um, the recipes, I mean. Having a quick look at my weight capacity, we're still, yeah, we're halfway. Uh, yeah, you can even brew your uh, different types of, of beer. I um, will totally do that. And in order to make good beer, <laughs> or successfully, that is, successfully make beer, you need uh, high intelligence. Good thing is that you don't need it in real life. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, ooh. No. That was a bad one. I admit. I admit. That, that, that was bad. The font is still off. It's either my my screen or it's the game I would have to try it on, a, on, on my laptop because that's I'm playing on a really 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 big screen and that probably messes up the, the resolution and everything else yeah, but I, I, I can read it to find you, you, you get used to it. Yeah. We're getting 122, 122 experience per pick. That's because of the power hour and hold on, we need 11,000 more experience for level 16. Hooray. Totally good. gonna reach that. 
you have mined three ore. Okay, we are already mining three ore, up to three ores per pick. Mostly one, but up to three. That's cool. When you have like uh, 100 strength and 100 mining, like I have on my main, you get almost every time you get five hours per pick. Well, normal ore, that is. There are different types of ore um, that you can mine from different type of rocks. And you need certain skill levels. I'm gonna show you. That's actually a good idea to open up that. Uh, where is it? It's hidden somewhere. Come on. Seriously? No way. Where are you? Yeah, that should open a floater, but obviously, whoop. Obviously not. Okay. That's strange. Or is it hidden under another window? No. Uh uh. Okay. Let's try again. No, it doesn't open anything. No, nope. nope. Ah, uh, too bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, you you see it here. I've got one hundred and twenty-six thousand something uh, experience in mining, and I need like what? I'm moving on myself, and I need. 133,000. Yeah, that's that's doable. <laughs> At level 30 mining, you can mine Threlonite. Or, well, you, you, you do mine Threlonite when you are mining those normal rocks like these. Um, and it can make higher quality stuff, higher quality weapons, higher quality armor, um, etc. etc. Progress progression that's a that's a difficult word. Maybe left some more coffee. Is actually pretty fast uh, in the beginning, but <laughs> oh man, it can be tedious. There are some skills that are so tedious to level. Um, spinning and weaving, for example, that's really boring. Because you stand in one place on a spinning wheel, for example, and you just spin and spin and spin and spin. Um, yeah, that's that's annoying, but okay, well, that's part of the game. That's the the grinding part. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can also fight uh, demons in hell if you choose to do so. But I'm a tradesman in uh, games like these. Ah, snake! But I can totally def 
defeat a snake. Ha! Huh? Well, two, two hit. If I had a skinning knife on me, I could skin that carcass and I would have a chance to get leather. Yeah, leather working. I forget leather working. That's based on dexterity, so I would probably fail a lot. Ah, that snake is trapped in the mountains. I could shoot it with uh, a bow, but I don't have a bow on me, so I just leave it alone. Leave me alone in isolation, there's hope. There's someone else waiting, I promise destiny. Oh, that's a black adder, that's a bit uh, a strong snake. Oh, now we have daylight. Oh! Oh man, I, I, I probably should turn on the music a bit. Can you hear it? I don't know. I so love that music. It's... Ah... Uh, Man, it's so... Ah... Oh. The memories. The memories. The Gods of Chaos have increased the spawn rate. Yeah. They sometimes do that. And it's great that they give you a warning. I mean, they don't give you a warning in advance, but they just tell you that they have increased the spawn rate that can be pretty dangerous depending on, on where you are and what you're hunting uh, but yeah that's part of the game checking my weight okay I should probably head back to uh, the forge I don't want to go overweight, so I have to keep an eye on it. Maybe just one more pick. Yeah, okay, we're gonna leave it at that. Ah, scorpion! Go down! Yeah, and, and, and fighting stuff, um, critters, gives you experience in your weapon skills and I even got a 200 bonus experience for killing that scorpion thank you <laughs> bam bam I have obtained the rank of novice killer of vermin mm -hmm. Yeah, there are seven quests. Oh, sorry, that was an NPC. I do I have that protection on? Uh, target protection, level protection, faction protection. Yeah, okay, cool. So I can't even accidentally attack uh, an NPC that will be a bad idea because that would make you a uh, criminal and wanted. Okay, that forge is on, so there's definitely someone in crack. Oh, yeah, hello. Ratona, hello. Yeah, and if you click on, uh, right click on uh, other players, you can see their equipment. And 
you can more or less judge if you want to fight him or her. Depending on their equipment and your equipment. And their level. And your level. I'm level 15. That play is level 12. So I could probably defeat him, but I'm I'm not a PvP player. I'm an innkeeper. Yeah. But that's why I'm focusing on, on small plates. On small plates, I mean. From a role playing perspective. Uh, an innkeeper should be able to uh, defend himself. Hold on. Yeah, that works. <laughs> um, yeah, an innkeeper should be able to, to defend himself. And you don't fight uh, with uh, a huge pole arm in a medieval inn. You use small blades. Or you bare fists. That's actually pretty... Yeah, smelting. Woo! Ah, still gonna screenshot it. Uh, I'm level 16 now, so I gained two orbs that I can spend. I'm gonna spend them on strength. I'm gonna get 100 strength. And I'm gonna be there at level 45. Or 40? No, 45. Yeah. So that, that takes a while, but now my carrying capacity went up a bit. That means I can mine more. And carry back more or to smelt and gain more experience that way you're progressing faster faster to a certain point where you really need a lot of experience to gain a level the level cap at the moment is uh, 110. It used to be, uh, I think it was 40. 40? Yeah, I think it was 40. And they raised it to 60 and then 200. The next step was to 105 and then to 110. Yeah, and you get special bonuses uh, from level 106 to 110, but uh, we're not going to reach that today. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay. The forge just cooled down, so I had to click on that bellow. At the moment, I'm doing, I'm, I'm smelting ores one by one. Why am I doing this? Uh, I could do it five by five. That would mean that I'm five times faster right that's correct but I would lose a lot of experience because 
it doesn't matter how much or you smelled, you always get the same experience. So if I would smelt 5x5, five five, I would get 200 and, uh, 257 experience for 5 hours, for smelting 5 hours. Ah, I'm thirsty. I'm so, well, I'm so talkative today. Um, and so I get 5 times the experience. I will do that to uh, a certain level. Uh, smelting level especially. And then I probably do it 5x5. Five five. Just because smelting isn't my most important skill. Oh my god, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Another 95 ores to smelt. Hey, where is everyone? Ayux? Usually shows up. I love the the Orkish music. Uh, depending on where you are and in, in, in which area you are and in which city you are, the music changes and that really, really adds to the atmosphere. And it's so relaxing, you know. Smelting, listening to the music, etc., etc. It's just pressing U, left click. And I smelt it a lot. Really, a lot. So, oh, thank you. That guy or girl is. Clicking the bell for me. Thank you. <laughs> um, Oh, we, 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 we made contact. <laughs> Hello there. Oh. Yes, I have problems with the funds. As well, uh, just a second. Um, game options. customer, you know? <laughs> no, um, I'm really glad to help. You know? um, okay, he's probably changing the font color now.
that it should restore. Hmm. Hmm. That's strange. As I said, always glad to help, you know. <laughs> Have a drink on me. <laughs> no, seriously, I... Uh, you know, if someone has a problem in-game and I'm able to help, I do that. Because when I run into a problem, I'm, I'm glad when someone else is helping me out. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a give and take. <laughs> but as a long time player, I, it, it's more than a, more, more like a give. Take, but that's okay for me. I mean, I was just about to say that's my job, but that would be a giveaway, <laughs> so I didn't say it. Hey, we smelled it halfway through. Oh my god, it's late. Oh my god, it's so late. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna smell those 60 hours. I mean, it's only 60 hours. Who, who cares? Clicking it 60 times. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm calling it a day. No, I, no, shoot, I don't. I'm going to make small daggers out of that ingots and uh, 
yeah, make a lot of money. <laughs> no, seriously not. I've got a lot of money, uh, gold, I mean, not money, on my main account. Um, I'm not going to reach that with that character. No way. There's no way. I'm going to reach that. I mean, in like 20 years, maybe, yeah. But. Nope. It's technically possible, but. <laughs> It's not really realistic. <laughs> I was thinking about um, starting that char on uh, that innkeeper char on Heroes, where my main character is, so I can swap uh, items, gold, etc. But then I thought. That would be cheating. Because I could easily give that char, that innkeeper char, uh, like, I don't know, 50 million gold from a main account, and I wouldn't even notice it. That I, I I miss those fifty millions, uh, but no, that would have felt like cheating. So I decided to start really a new a new character on Ascension. Plus, uh, heroes is actually deserted yeah too bad I'm still playing on it and you just don't run into other players because uh, the map here is huge it's really huge if we have like five players as we have seen before on the login screen um, yeah one is hunting in hell the other one is hunting in badlands the other one is hunting in winter wonderland um, or uh, I don't know, sense of creation. They just don't run into each other. <laughs> and it's a PvP server, so um Yay Smelting level. Um Let's see. I've got two hundred and fifty seven experience at level 23 and now I'm getting 263 six experience per smelting more oh grants yeah you usually do that if you see that someone leveled up it's it's quite a friendly player base really okay that guy doesn't respond doesn't even say thank you yeah it's a bit odd when someone isn't responding 
I mean, I, I, I don't want to, you know, say that he's macroing, but I don't know. I know what macroing looks like, <laughs> but okay, never mind. I won't accuse anyone of anything unless I have really good evidence. And just because he's not responding doesn't mean he's macroing. But that clicking on a bell all the time even though the the forge is on I mean that's a tail 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 sign actually yeah I would totally totally do the same but okay I don't accuse anyone of anything, I'm just... I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, 13 hours to go. I'm glad he's clicking the bell, so I don't have to do that. My mouse is wandering away. Ten hours to go. Come on. Smelting is based on intelligence. And I have a really good success rate. You have to stride one hour. I have destroyed one here. I have destroyed two here. Okay, good. Well, not good, but I, in fact, that's an impressive uh, success rate. Giving the the skill level of uh, twenty four. Only five intelligence, so pretty happy about it. That I don't destroy half my or or more or or more. Wow, that's <laughs> or or more. Yep, whoop, Miss Mouse. Okay, that's the last or and I end up with 126 ingots. Nice. So, I have to go to an anvil in order to forge either weapons, all kind of weapons, Armor, all kind of armor, well, not everything yet because of my skill levels. Ammunition and tools. Let's check our pickaxe that's at half health. Okay, and our blacksmith hammer, yeah, that. That will do the trick, pretty sure. Okay, uh, I'm going for um, great daggers. Where is it? There is it. Because the success rate is 
actually pretty good. And the experience is great, especially during a power hour. 491 experience. That's awesome. That's really awesome. If I would have a subscription on this account, I would have a greater backpack. So I could forge more daggers. before I have to go to uh, Baluk and sell them to him but uh, I'm already paying a, a subscription on my main account and I'm not uh, paying for two accounts no nope. sorry dear developers I have a subscription, running subscription since the subscription stuff was introduced, so uh, you can't complain. I'm a good customer. <laughs> okay, oh, I could probably just, you know, put that here so I don't have to move my mouse from here to there from back and forth two more daggers and I have to to sell them so I have room in my backpack okay I failed one yeah the the su success rate with uh, forging is, is based on strength and I've got 42 strength. That's not bad. I mean, that's not 100 strength, but it's not f like I have five intelligence. <laughs> Whoop, almost sold my blacksmith hammer. 1,457 gold well including the, the gems etc etc but it's cool cool we could totally buy I don't know a small blade then again I ha I'm only level 5 <laughs> in small blades so that stiletto is probably the best small blade I can use at, at the moment I have to advance in, in my weapon skill I could uh, forge poignard let me no, that doesn't work. Falchion. Uh, Shaw Stiletto. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I think that Shaw Stiletto is probably the best. Yeah, it, it needs level 5 in small blades, which I have. So that's probably. The best weapon I can use. Uh, I, I, I could totally use way better armor than I have now but uh, armor weights a lot and I have only like 280 carrying capacity. Whoop, miss mouse. So I try to wear uh, lightweight armor <laughs> and it's not like that I'm going to <laughs> going to hell go to hell go to hell man um, 
I'm I'm staying around the town, so I could actually always run back uh, and hide behind the guards. I'm going to buy uh, better armor once um, I'm, I'm going to hunt a bit, but that will take a while. I won't go hunting. I mean, like actively hunting until I reach uh, 100 strength. That's level 45. Because uh, it's just too dangerous, you know. <laughs> you never know what pups, what's popping up, what mop is popping up. Mop, pop, cool. Um, well, yeah, actually, you, you do. There are spawn areas uh, like I don't know, frost giants spawn in a. In that area, in that area, in that area. Yay! Level 22 in forging skill. Storm giants spawn here and there and there and here. Athens spawn in that area, in that area, in that area. You know that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what. Maybe we can. Already? No, we can't. Rugged plates. That's my favorite. Nope. Okay. Yeah, rugged plates. Give. Whoa, 507 experience. Holy moly. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. 507. So we are, well, we are even almost halfway through level 16 that we just reached. So we made half a level. Wow. I mean, totally. We, we, we still have 28 yeah 28 daggers to forge that means 14,000 experience ha I'm that good at math okay and we need 61 uh, almost 62,000 okay so we're not gonna reach <laughs> that level by just watching those daggers, Sally. <laughs> Twenty-five daggers to go. Now I think that's part of the fun, you know. Um, then you have to work your way up. Of course, if you if you got guild mates and, and do a guild hunt and hunt together, you can take on bigger enemies. Uh, I really, really remember, dearly remember those hunts in uh, SGL in Storm Giant Slayer. That was great. Luring a storm giant to the entire, no, not the entire, but to like four or five fighters. And they were taking down that storm giant together. And the loot was was split between the guild mains. The 
depending on on their weapons, the preferred weapons, which was usually back then uh, long swords and axes. Yeah, but like. 90% of people were using long swords. And you've got plus one, two, plus three, plus four swords. And there was, uh, there were very, very, very rare plus fives. And if you had a plus five, you were famous. Yep. Or a helm of, helm of strength. Yeah, that was cool. That was that gave you plus twenty strength. That was really really great. Yeah. Okay, twelve daggers to go. And then I'm calling it a day. I've been streaming a lot today. Uh, I've done three different games even, uh, which is which is great. Yeah, uh, I love to stream different games and have a bit of you know um, because I don't know the word at the moment. Uh, Got some, yeah. I totally forgot to work. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh, that's embarrassing. I totally forgot. Anyway, yeah. Well, um, yeah. Three games today. And I think some hours, so um, I'm probably, most probably taking a day off, <laughs> or two days off uh, Twitch, but you can always uh, re-watch my streams on YouTube. Just uh, search for Dystopian Innkeeper and you. Lunastra has achieved level 40 in grants. Um, yeah, and uh, you will find my channel. So, um, yep. Yeah. Okay. We've got. We, we, we made 5,000. 500 gold and we've got a total of 43 almost 44 thousand gold let's check the weapon shop where is it I'm I'm a bit lost in croc I admit, <laughs> I'm not that often in crack. Black or pale flame? It needs level 15. I do have that. Plus two all stats and 20 HP. Um, should I buy that? I mean, it's only plus two all stats and those 20 HPs. Nah. Nope. What have you got? Something glowy? Nothing glowy. Okay, nothing glowy. Uh, great dagger. Yard, that's a small blade. Needs level 12. 
I'm, I'm only at level five small blades. Yeah, okay. So I can definitely not use it. Okay, let's check the armor shop. They've got something glowy and helpful. Nope. Full golden set looks really cool. But it's really heavy. Uh, I wear that on special occasions on my main account for uh, role playing uh, reasons. Maybe I could, you know, buy some bandages or something. That would be helpful. Oh yeah, first aid is is a skill actually. Yeah, you can heal yourself with uh, bandages, and the higher your first aid skill is, the more you heal yourself, the more su successfully you heal yourself. But okay, um, I'm gonna bank that. Let's have a look at our bank. Wow, cool. Whoop. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, it's it's pretty late. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I can't watch. I can't no nah. nah. I just looked at the watch on my PC. Well, okay, that's gonna be a short <laughs> sleep today, but it was totally worth it. I had a lot of fun listening to that music, mining, smelting, forging, you know, that Drenzik or Ashen Empire's feeling. That's so great. That's so great. I wish you all a happy time. Until next time, I'll do, uh, I don't know, whatever I feel like. Most probably uh, Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, because there will be a new uh, champion during uh, the, the, the next event. Um, so I'm gonna present, hold on, that doesn't look good, that really doesn't look good, that window is bad, yeah, that looks better, <laughs> and that looks better as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah, definitely, okay. <laughs> So, um, I wish you all a good time. I'll see you again. I don't know why. Oh, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know when. <laughs> I do know why, <laughs> but I don't know when. Most probably on, uh, I think it's Tuesday when that event starts and uh, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Everyone, have fun, whatever you do. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.